by a dog. And so I have I no longer have a theme song, much to my chagrin. I would play it right now. But I don't. So what I'll do instead is just tell all of you listeners out in Radioland that this is the music faucet. You're listening to WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. My name's Nick. And tonight on this program, we have um, not one, but two very special guests. Um, Two completely unrelated duos. Uh, Coming up a little later in the program, we will hear from Boo Trundle. Uh, I believe it's on, oh, I forget the name of the record label, Big Deal. I believe that's the name of the record label. (laughs) And uh, Boo Trundle will be with us in about 45 minutes. For those of you who are tuning in for Boo Trundle right now, please stay tuned. And now, without further ado, all the way from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, The Nudes. June. Thank you. 
Walter Parks and Stephanie Winters are the nudes performing live here in our studios. And um, just to be fair, I should mention to our listeners that there is really very little skin showing aside from the oh, face. Oh, come on, we're, bu we're buck naked. Well, no, that's what everyone says. And, and you even seem to claim it well before you even got to a radio studio. <laughs> Actually, people ask us all the time if we play in the nude. And my uh, continuous answer is, well, we don't play in the nude unless we're doing a radio interview. So... <laughs> So, later on, ladies and gentlemen, on. That's right. <laughs> we only do it if everyone in the building peels, though. It's happened. It's happened. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> the nudes are my guests. Uh, guitar and cello and voices um, hailing from Brooklyn, New York, I guess, these days. These days? Uh, in Williamsburg. Uh, you're, you're right in the middle of a, a huge, vast tour, though. How is it that you've, you've come to play all over the countryside? I mean, you've been working straight since what, January? Since actually the middle of December. Mm -hmm. uh, we started in Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, one thing is I'm from the South. Mm -hmm. I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. And um, I moved to New York to promote a rock band that I had about four years ago now. And when I had the group, I just, um, I just got to know a lot of different clubs and club owners and such up and down the East Coast. So that was one connection there. May, w will you... Tell us what the name of the oh, group was. Oh, the name was. of the group was Dear John. I, 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 I he tries think. to forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dear John. But uh, it, was, it was okay. It was a good group. But uh, uh, actually, the logistics of having a, uh, a three-piece uh, uh, rock group or whatever you might want to call it in, in New York, is uh, the logistics are just a nightmare. So I decided to, to do acoustic music and kind of simplify my life and my music. Put an ad in the Village Voice for a, a cellist about three years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, Stephanie answered the ad. And, Goodness uh, gracious. And to, uh, that, that was a brave gesture on both of your parts. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Although the ad didn't say the nudes. If it did, I probably never would have answered. <laughs> the name came after. Uh-oh. So, but to answer your question, um, we uh, travel a lot um, between Florida and New York, and we just keep picking up more and more gigs, mm -hmm. and we actually... Uh, we did the Midwest. And we Midwest. did the Midwest for the first time. A lot of gigs in Chicago and around there. Colleges. We're playing a lot of colleges. Mm -hmm. So it, it just seems we're, we're real mobile and we're ready to play. And we, I don't know, get the word out. I think in the last six months there have been dozens of cellos through this studio. How do you account for the the surge in popularity of the of the one of the most beautiful instruments in the world. Well, I m this is just a totally personal theory. I think um, um, my generation. I think m I've only met one cellist who wasn't classically trained, mm -hmm. and I think classical musicians generally kind of just exist in their own world. But I think my generation um, just y it's h impossible not to be exposed to rock music and other kinds of music. So I think there's more of a natural crossover. Mm -hmm. Classical musicians are beginning to cross over for the first time. I mean, Yo-Yo Ma is crossing over into other styles. And so it um, people are doing it. And I think it, it just works so well that as soon as anyone hears it, they, it's just irresistible. Have you performed classically yourself? Yeah, I trained. Um, I mean, I went to school uh, for years and studied very seriously, but I pretty much got fed up with playing in an orchestra. And as soon as I got my degree in cello performance, I, I quit classical playing and mm -hmm. um, quit cello for a while because I didn't really know what else to do. So I started playing guitar and singing, and then I thought, hey, you know, I can play cello and this style of music. And I have to rock. switch instruments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did. I want to mention that the nudes are performing, um, uh, what is it, March 12th at the Fez on uh, Bra Bra uh, Lafayette. Lafayette and Great Jones Street in Manhattan. They're performing an evening with the nudes at the Fez, March 12th. What day of the week is Saturday. that? Saturday, Saturday night. night. Goodness gracious. And in between then, if you're out in the world, you can see them in Montreal on the 1st, in Albany on the 3rd, in Canton, New York on the 4th and 5th, in Oneida, New York at the Autumn Cafe on the 6th of March, and in Teaneck, New Jersey on, WF on WFDU at 11 in the morning on the 11th. 
Is Set it, your alarm that, clock. Who is that with on FDU? Uh, Rob DeSher. Hmm. Never heard of him. You're listening to WFMU, <laughs> Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. I also want to briefly mention uh, once again that coming up in a matter of a little while, half hour or so, Boo Trundle will be our guest here live in the studio. So please stay tuned. We're here with the nudes right now who are performing their cello and guitar and voices um, pieces for those instruments. This next song we're going to play is uh, the one of two songs on the CD that is um, strict guitar, cello, no overdubs, uh, no double tracking, and so this is the way it sounds on the CD. It's called it's called it takes two. You're on my mind Knowing you want me so bad Hoping that I'll get back in line For something that I never had It has to take two Right from the start Moments are few in life fulfilling. I think it took two to break your heart. Darling, could you enslave? to uh, another song, but we just have to retune a string here. Well, then let me announce briefly one more time that you're listening to the Nudes performing live here on WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. This is the Music Faucet, and 
the nudes are Walter Parks and Stephanie Winters. And they're performing at Fez, March 12th. That's a w- two weeks from... Uh, two weeks from yesterday. Two weeks from yesterday, exactly. Keep posted. All right. My song was my savior She ran the lines in between I tried to pass the remainder All from the girl of my dreams Welcome into my house What is mine you can keep Cause my heart's open wide As the ocean is deep But I won't be swimming this ocean It's easy to see there's no time So I'll foolishly give my devotion As I ask you to wait in my life Well, I'll give you my hand for the rest of my life Or I think that I can if my song stays alive Or has somebody said that they love you? But that somebody's letting you go And as long as the stars shine above you That's how they're letting you know Somebody's letting you go And as long as the stars shine above you That's how they're letting you know So if I never say that I love you Yeah, you'll have to be sure that I do Cause I'll promise the stars up above you But I'll bring you the far in the view Are you all having fun on the radio yet? We are. He's trying to make me laugh while I'm singing. It's not really very nice. <laughs> That's not fair, Walter. It's fun to loosen up a classical musician. <clears throat> <laughs> you can save that for the car ride home. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Speaking of car rides, uh, this duo confessed to me that they do not listen to the radio even while driving their thousands and thousands of miles, they choose to remain in silence and probably converse among themselves. It's true. And so they have no clue that WFMU is going about to start its two-week annual fundraiser tomorrow morning. Could you tell us more about that? <laughs> well, no, I don't really want to. <laughs> but I would like to say that to all our listeners out there, uh, since you don't listen to the radio, you don't really need this information. But our, all our listeners should be aware that um, if you haven't tuned into a WFMU fundraising marathon, you ought to because they're a lot of fun. They're a lot more fun than any other fundraising marathon for any other radio station I've ever heard. But back to the matter at hand. In our studios right now are the nudes performing live. And may they continue. I just, do you want to be cry into your heart? Uh, sure. Are you asking him to cry into his heart right here on the radio? Oh, something like that. that. It's the only way to put out a good song. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, we're going to attempt this. Okay. I'm going 
going to cry into my heart. Yeah. Now the first song is Cry Until Tomorrow, and then we'll go into one called Your Heart is Full in Your Eyes. And sleeps with them too These good intentions are more than a few My heart is full in my eyes She hates a man who was hard to detest With nothing to give him, she gave him her best Can anyone starve and survive on the rest?
in your hand A man of importance can see that it's there But you'll never win for as long as you can Your heart will fool in your eyes Oh, 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 oh. Your heart will fool in your eyes Listening to the nudes here on WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. Performing live. Yes. I, I would like to. If, will you excuse me for a minute? <laughs> he's running in, he's opening the door, he's and he's through the door, he's coming here. He grabs a CD. Record time. I thought. Rather than having you tell me about this CD, I could take a look at it myself. Oh, I was trying to gesture to him, which song are we going to play next? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off the CD, point to a tune. Well, you could just mention it because this is radio, but it's casual radio, so you feel free to discuss amongst yourselves. Okay. I'd like to do uh, early in the morning because it's uh, a little campy. I don't know, the room that we're in right now is pretty, pretty damn campy. There's a couple of plastic geese on the mantle. We we should have lit them up. They actually they actually bounce along to the music. Oh my. And the, the thing I like best about uh, at least my short visit to the building here is the uh the mirrors in the upstairs bathroom with all the CDs on it. Uh <laughs> that's that's pretty good. We're starting to accumulate quite a bit of CDs that we don't necessarily want. And I assume that's what you did with yours as well. You Just mean turn the them around so the reflective side shows out. We won't mention which ones were hung in the bathroom, though. <coughs> you mean you took a look? I did. Well, it wasn't this one. The The Nudes have a CD available, and uh, I, I guess it's just called The Nudes, and it's available by mailing to uh, General Post Office Box 8720. I'll give that out. I'll give all of this out again later, but it's 8720, P.O. Box 8720. New York, New York, 10116. And that's and 10116. Everyone gets the zip code wrong. Why? You got it right. New York, zip codes are usually 100. Oh. And no one can get it right. But you can also get it at Tower Records. So. Okay. Or you can uh, actually go down to Fez on March 12th and see this combo play in their live presentation. And we, we will You'll have a percussionist that yeah, night well, as well. Yeah, I was going to say, we're, our percussionist, Randy Crafton, who plays frame drums from all over the world, is going to be joining us. So that makes it special. And it's also sort of a homecoming because you've been playing all over the country. And yeah. this is like... We've been out for two straight months and uh, it's a treat to come back to New York because it's the only time that we play with our percussionist. We don't tour with him. We tour as a duo like we're playing right now in the air. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, so he takes a lot of solos, and we have a pretty improvisatory um, bend for some of our songs. But let's play. Yes, okay. play. This is one we call our uh, sleazy French 20s tune, and I understand that uh, everyone on the air now knows what uh, Wolf P is and uh, from the last show. Uh, uh, it's true, uh, P.P. de Lou. But anyway, um, this is one uh, called Early in the Morning. You 
can stare at me But does it have to be so early in the morning? Is your eyes to cry so much more than mine so early in the morning? Some pain I have this done Your lips, your perfume You're not the only one Who stinks of the room Now I sympathize And it's not that I think Conversation's boring But a time like this I just have to kiss you early in the morning I try but I forget Your style, your caress I can't get over it The price of your dress Some pay to have this done Your lips, your perfume You're not the only one Who stinks of the room I'll let your feelings lead the way. The nudes. One more. You drink to life, get 
drink to pleasure And not a word you need to say Just when you get yourself together Another boat gets in the way Your mother told the story several years ago But now you look the other way You get the feeling there is something you should know They tell you what to say Then don't change your mind Your heart won't lead you blind Takes a river to the sea A monkey to a tree Only you can look the other way Yeah, 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 yeah It would be one small complication Sometimes it's dangerous at sea And when we sail in celebration We take on water easily Your mother told the story several years ago But now you look the other way You get the feeling there is something you should know To tell you what to say Then don't change your mind Your heart won't lead you blind It takes a river to the sea A monkey to a tree Only you can look the other way listening to the nudes performing live here on WFMU. Thank you so much for coming down. Thanks for having we us, Nick. We had fun playing. Thank you very much. A, it's fun. A I true it's the most loose we've ever been on any uh, radio show. Oh, good. Congratulations <laughs> to you. <laughs> well, that's what we try. We try and limber them up. We give them a little foot <laughs> that rub. that rack in the hallway? <laughs> yes. In fact, that's what the rack is for. So, uh, you feel free to come on in here and hang out. We have to get another combo into your position. Okay. You've been listening to the Nudes performing live, and I want to mention that they're performing at uh, Fez on March 12th. That's two weeks from yesterday. Fez is located at the corner of Great Jones and Lafayette Street, uh, under Time Cafe, actually behind and under Time Cafe. Actually, if you go into Time Cafe and you walk through the restaurant and go through a door and then wind your way through a plush bar, and then down a darkened stairwell, you emerge into a little cabaret known as Fez Under Time Cafe. And that's where they'll be performing, uh, assisted by uh, their able percussionist, Randy Crafton, who play will be playing multi multicultural frame drums and percussion. The nudes are and have been and will continue to be Stephanie Winters and Walter Parks, and um, they can be reached by mailing off to this address, uh, General Post Office Box 8720, and that's in New York, New York, 10116. Again, 
box 8720, New York, New York, 10116. And that's the nudes. They have a CD available, which I'm sure you can purchase by sending off to that address. And please be advised. You're listening to WFMU uh, right here. We call them palatial. They're actually not. I have to finally admit to all our listeners that the studios that these musicians have been performing, and I have been bragging about the palatial nature of the, these studios, these studios are not palatial. In fact, the studios that the performers are performing in are filled with telephones right now. And tomorrow morning, starting at 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., uh, the phones will be ringing off the hook, hopefully by listeners like you calling to pledge um, funds to our upcoming 1994 fundraising marathon. Now, this thing, this marathon happens... Uh, once a year for two weeks, which is actually a lot less than most other radio stations solicit funds from their listeners. We try and do it as painlessly as possible, and, and I think we succeed because we actually make it a lot of fun to listen to. Um, each DJ is assigned a co-host, generally to their liking, and it's uh, often... Uh, provides quite a bit more humor than you might actually get uh, during regular programming throughout the rest of the year. So the 1994 fundraising marathon, which begins tomorrow morning, will be your chance to uh, say thank you for all the programming that you've heard on this radio station over the last year and in advance for next year. And please, if you like this program... Tune in next week. We're only, uh, usually the Music Faucet does two programs during a fundraising marathon. This time we're only doing one, and that is next Sunday night at 8.30. I'll be playing uh, recorded excerpts from many past performances, some of the best ones, many that I haven't dug out of the woodwork, and it'll be a good time to tune in. And a good time to tune in and pledge. We'll be offering as uh, all sorts of groovy prizes, and we'll have some of the CDs that are called from live performances on WFMU, as well as a cassette of uh, special performances which haven't really surfaced very much in the past. Uh, 